Hi, I'm Sharla with Freezer Meals 101. Welcome to this week's edition of What's for Dinner, where I show you how I take our freezer meals and transform them into what our family eats throughout the week. This week was back to school for our kids. So that, you know, we're all establishing like new routines and getting into our new schedule, uh, which is going okay, but there's been a few hiccups along the way. So it's really nice to not have to worry about dinner or grocery shopping or anything like that. So this week I went with super easy and also I went with things that I know the kids really like because I didn't want to add any additional stress this week to them. I do like them to try new foods and we're always getting them to try new foods. But this week when they're adjusting to enough change in their life, especially with two of our kids starting a new school this year, I just thought I would make it as easy as possible on them and go with like some tried and true favorites and comfort food. <laughs> so uh, this week we made Sloppy Joe's one night, which is exactly like what I was saying. It's comfort food, it's kid friendly, and I know they're gonna like it. So um, you can heat this one up in the skillet or in the crock pot. I did it in the skillet this week and then just serve it on top of buns. I know people like do all kinds of things with their sloppy joes. Some people add cheese, some people add like other toppings or kind of make it into, I don't know, all kinds of concoctions that I've seen out there or casseroles like add it into that or put it on top of nachos or whatever. But this was as plain as you can get, sloppy joes on buns. Voila, dinner done. Next thing we did was um, pesto chicken and vegetables. I love this one because it's a sheet pan meal and absolutely everything is in the bag. I forgot to take a video of the bag, but maybe I can have a picture of it somewhere and add that in. Anyway, we'll see what happens. If you see the picture, that's because I found it in my stash of photos and added that in. But anyway, that one, you just dump the bag onto your um, sheet pan, like a cookie sheet, put it in the oven and you have your full meal because it's got the chicken, it's got the flavorings and you have your vegetables. If you want to add a side like rice or potatoes or whatever, you can. This time it was all about speed. So we just had it as is. I really love Brussels sprouts. So that's one of my favorite things about that meal is that that's already in there. Another night we did seafood curry on penne pasta and this is another one where it's just for us it's comfort food pasta is always like that nice like homey flavor but this one with the seafood curry sauce oh my goodness i wish that i could like have you taste test it through the camera it's so good it's if you like seafood and you like just a mild curry it's not spicy we add chili flakes to make ours a little spicier, but it's not spicy. It's just got really good flavor. So anyway, uh, that's a great one. I'll have the recipes down below, so you can click in the description and find those if you wanna make any of these for yourself. Uh, sometimes when we make the seafood curry, when we're assembling our freezer meals, we'll actually cook the pasta and have it in the bag as well. And then we just heat all of that in the skillet. I find when I do that, then the pasta breaks a little bit as I'm you know, stirring it and trying to get everything to cook. And when I add the shrimp and I'm just, or shrimp and scallops, and I'm trying to get everything to cook. So it's just easier, I find, for me to cook the pasta the day that I'm making it. Maybe not easier, but it just works out better if I cook the pasta on the day of. Uh, the other thing that we made this week was Spanish rice. Now, I have to be honest with you and tell you that I didn't video it. <laughs> so I have the video of the bag. See this beautiful bag of Spanish rice freezer meal. I don't have a video of the complete casserole. I could cheat and I could put an old video up, but I'm just gonna be honest and tell you that I forgot to video it. It's really busy week, like I said, with all the back to school and new transitions and kids having emotions and whatever. So there's no video, but you just take 
the bag. It has the cheese attached into a medium bag that's on there. So you take the, the staples out, you, you know, put the main part in a casserole dish. So that's got already like your cooked rice, your cooked hamburger, and all of your other ingredients are already in there and it's, it's cooked. So you're just reheating and then you top it with cheese. I can't remember if you top it with cheese at the end or it might say on the bag anyway. And then you put that in the oven, cook it, cheese melts. It's lovely. You'll just have to take my word for it because you can't actually see it. But <laughs> anyway, um, another one we've been making a long time. So the kids are really familiar with it and it wasn't a big change for them. And the last thing that we made this week was our cilantro lime chicken. My kids, I don't think it's a secret anymore. They love Mexican type flavors. So anything taco-esque is going to be a big hit around here. This is a nice meal because it's a crock pot meal. I can just put the contents of the bag in the crock pot and then when it's done, I shred the chicken and then the kids can assemble them however they want. So I serve it with flour tortillas. They can add like the mixture onto the flour tortilla and then they can add some toppings if they want. It already has black beans and corn and some onions and the flavorings and stuff. So it's already a complete meal, but if they want, they can add sour cream. Now, the particular kid that I videoed doing her assembly is obviously a huge fan of sour cream and not much else because that was like all she chose for her toppings. But I also put out salsa, hot sauce, guacamole, and people can just help themselves make it up. If you wanted, you could also add some extra cilantro, like just some fresh cilantro um, on the day that you serve it. Uh, you can also add fresh tomato. Uh, any kind of taco toppings are gonna be awesome on this. It's just a nice meal that is always gonna be something that our family enjoys. And for me as the mom, I love that it's a slow cooker meal so I can put it in at the beginning of the day, work, and then at the end of the day, it's done, just shred it and um, the kids can help make their own the way they want them or exactly how they want them. Thanks for joining me. I hope that if you've got back to school in your house that it's going smoothly and if you need freezer meal tips to help that go even smoother, then be sure to subscribe for all our freezer meal ideas. Have a great weekend and happy cooking.